In this video, I am gonna focus on how with just one click, you can turn this into this. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk to you about putting a border around your pictures. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I have borders on all my pictures and that does make them a little bit smaller on the platform, but it also, for me, helps them stand out when people are kind of doom scrolling through Instagram. And when I'm ordering prints for clients or even for myself, I always order them with the white border and I will show you how I do that. I'm gonna first show you how to put the white border on and then I'm gonna show you how you can do this with just one click in Photoshop. If you caught my last video, I was talking about how I resize images for Instagram. And I also mentioned in that that I put a frame on it. So this is exactly how I do the frame. And go and watch that video if you wanna know how to resize your pictures for Instagram really easily. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open an image in Photoshop. I am gonna use my portrait of Mr. James Bay that I took here in Montreal. So this is a horizontal image. I'm gonna show you a vertical one as well. It's pretty much exactly the same technique. Now, if you look down here in the layers panel, you'll see the photo is there on the background layer, but it is locked. First thing we wanna do is unlock that. So you just click that little key and it'll change to layer zero. This now means that we can add other layers below it, which you couldn't do if it was locked. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can add a border, but the way that I do it and the way that I think is the easiest is to go up to image and canvas size. Now in this little box, make sure that the relative box is checked and in this little anchor grid, make sure that it is set to the center there. That means any space that we add around the image is gonna be equal all the way around. The next thing you wanna do is add in the width and the height that you wanna add around the image. Now what this is going to do is make the whole canvas bigger. So once you've decided what size you want your border, you actually want to put double because it's going to add it on both sides. So if you want to add a one centimeter border, you're going to put two centimeters in here and two centimeters in the height box. Then click OK to close this little dialog box. And now you'll see there's space all around the image, but it's not quite how we want it to look. What this checkered pattern means is that it's actually a transparent layer which we're going to fill with color now if you try a certain size and you don't like it you can just go back up to edit and undo canvas size and start again if you're happy with the size of the frame then you'll want to go down to create new fill or adjustment layer here and then click on solid color and here you can choose whatever color you want the frame to be but i always stick with white you might want to go for black in the opposite corner i really like white so i'm going to click ok on that and now you can see that everything has been filled with white not quite what we want so what we're going to do is go back down to the layers panel right here and this top layer which is the one that's filled with white we're going to drag under the original layer and that's why we unlocked it in the first place. And there you go. If you decide you wanna try a different color, you can go down here and double click on this box here, which will give you the option of trying different colors. And you can just click around, drag this up and down and see what you like. A neat little trick that you might wanna try is if you wanna use a, a color that's actually in the photo, you just move your cursor over to the color you wanna choose. So there's a lot of this orange in the photo. If I click on that, it's instantly going to use that color for the frame. If I click on his face, it's going to use that color. If I click on the dark here, it's going to go like that. But usually I just stick to white. And the last thing I would do is just flatten all the layers down. So you would go to layer, flatten image, and then you can save it as a new JPEG. Now, if you want to do lots of pictures with the same kind of border, or every time you load a picture and add a border, you want it to be exactly the same, then the best way to do that is to create your own action. And then you can do it really, really quickly in one click. So let's take this all the way back to the beginning. In history, we can take it back there. Now, if you have your action set to button mode, you'll want to click that off so they end up like that. And now we're going to go and create a new action. Let's call it white border 
if like me, you've got a lot of actions, you can add it to a specific set. And then we hit record. And now that it's recording, we just go through that whole process. We unlock, go to image, canvas size, two centimeters, two centimeters, okay. Add that solid color. We're gonna stick with white, drag this below and flatten. Stop the recording. And then we can go back to button mode, which I prefer. We find our white frame action, which is this blue one down here. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's hit that white frame button. Boom. Now the same thing will work with vertical images. So here we go to the white frame action, click, all done. So there you go, pretty easy, right? And if you found that useful and you're not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. And um, we have some good videos coming. There's one that I'm gonna do next week, hopefully, which I'm very excited about. So stick around, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.